How SolidWorks can help you in school. Do you need to design a CAM? This is the second part of two concerning CAMs. In this video, how CAMs are mated in an assembly, as well as how to run analysis on them, will be shown. To mate a CAM in an assembly, you need the CAM as well as the follower. The follower is what will trace the movements of the CAM profile and then transfer that movement elsewhere in the system. First, it is necessary to mate the cam so that it will rotate on its axis. Start by floating the cam by right-clicking the part and selecting Float. Next, mate the temporary axis of the cam to the top plane as well as to the right plane. Add a concentric mate on the back of the cam to the front plane. Bring in the follower part and mate one of its end faces with one of the cam so that it won't translate in the Z direction. To insert the cam mate, select Mechanical Mates. Choose the cylindrical surface of the follower in the cam follower box and choose all surfaces of the cam in the Entities to Mate box. Once a loop of tangent surfaces are chosen, the follower should move tangent to the cam. An arm can be added to the follower to keep its movement restricted. This arm can be mated to the top plane to keep it translating only in the X direction. At this point, the cam should function as you would expect it to. To run analysis on the cam, it is necessary to add in SOLIDWORKS Motion by going under Tools, Add-ins, and selecting SOLIDWORKS Motion. Select the Motion Study at the bottom left of the window. This will open a bar at the bottom of the screen. Under the drop-down menu on the left side, choose Motion Analysis. First, it is necessary to insert a motor on the cam. To do this, select the motor icon, choose Rotary Motor as the type, and select the inside edge of the cam in the component slash direction box. Input the desired speed of the motor and click OK. This will run as it is, but more can be added to make it more realistic. Contact can be added between the cam and the follower by clicking the contact icon in the motion study. Choose Solid Bodies, then select the cam and the follower. Material, friction, and elastic properties can be set up here as well. Another way to simulate this is to first suppress the cam mate, keep the contact mate that was just created, and then add a spring that keeps the follower against the cam. To add that spring, click the spring icon and choose two endpoints. A point on the following arm and the origin were chosen for simplicity in this case. Change the spring constant to its desired value as well as the length of the spring. If calculated properly, the follower should be kept up against the cam when it's run. By selecting the graph icon, results of the study can be shown. The desired category and subcategory can be chosen along with the entity to measure. Once created, a new plot will be displayed. One of the other options under the results is to create a trace plot under the displacement category. This can be used if you know and have created the motion of the follower using forces or motors but don't know what the cam would look like. This curve can be imported into a new part and created into a cam. It is important to make sure that the trace path makes only one complete loop. I hope this video will help you out in your cam design or kinematics and mechanisms class.